Today we are gonna be using the extremely dangerous sleeping giant team which has threads after threads. We are kinda high in the ladder and okay, we got the game. They have a Moltres which is very annoying but I have some tricks up my sleeve for the Moltres. But in this case, let's lead off with the Mamoswine. Yeah, I have some tricks up my sleeve which is gonna come in handy I guess. Leads up with the pre Marina, like I'm fine with this, I kind of want chip on this, this is a, like a kind of a problem, so just go for the quick. Get some nice nice chip. <laughs> oh, we blow that shit back. That shit went to the roof. Follow it up with a crash, I guess? Oh my god, he goes to Tusk and gets blown away. Yo, Mammy is going stupid, okay. He is a jolly Tusk, but we got rid of the pre Marina, we got rid of Tusk. So Mammo Swine has already started, already started, so now... Kinda gonna go to my crown and pretty much get the kill. I think I have to go to crown. I don't have any other play. Yeah, my rolling moon is looking damn good. Uh, uh, let's just go for the psychic noise, I guess. If he goes to Moltres, I'm just gonna combine on that joint, so I'm fine. Yeah, we get rid of the tusk is also gone. Okay, my rolling moon gets opened up more. He goes to this joint. Mad but annoying. I'm just I have to combine up kinda. Yeah, because I have a Syndress which kinda checks it. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Okay, I have to hit now. Yeah, I mean, I have a Syndress, so... Combines again, but yeah, he's gonna be... My Syndress is Focus Sash, so not that I mind. Get some Focus Plus damage off. <clears throat> yeah, now he's in Syndress range. He doesn't... Oh, he gets the Paralysis. Kinda unfortunate, but... Like... He can Thunderclap me, but as I said, I'm gonna finish him with my Syndress. And then... My Zama should be able to just seal the deal. Also, if I get rid of this, I think he saved the pre Marina because it's maybe Kastap, I guess. He claps me, okay, fine. We will go to the sin race. He's not gonna expect the high jump kick, I guess. High jump kick on him straight. Because he might think, uh, yeah, he, he's not gonna expect this, so he might think I'm gonna willow. But we get rid of the raging neck, which is really good. And now my uh, my NM gets opened up a lot. It's damn opened up. I won't even mind, you know, just. Yeah, just fire the ball, because I don't even have sin race anymore. Yeah, he has to go to Paul, so we'll just fire a ball here. Man, he got destroyed by my Mammy. Absolutely got destroyed. He goes for the U-turn, so we're gonna fire a ball. I think we'll get some chip on the Moltres as well. Yep, some nice chunk chip. Gonna high jump here. Because I don't need... I can keep this, but like, don't need it that much. Hmm. Oh, he's Wisping. Joint is Wisping. Do I wanna go to my NAM? Nah, let him miss me, don't really mind. Oh, he oh he turned, oh, he turned there. Oh, he turned. Okay. Real Breezy comes out. Still gonna high jump kick. Yeah, I, I, I keep high jump kicking. I keep kicking, keep kicking, keep kicking. Yo, are we gonna kill the Moltres with high jump kick? Yo, we killed the Moltres with high jump kick. That is crazy, man. We killed him. Oh my god, we kicked him so many times. We kicked him out of Pokemon Showdown. How many kicks did we land? Let's see. Holy sh! We landed five high jump kicks back to back. High jump kick, high jump kick, high jump kick, high jump kick, high jump kick. Keeps kicking, man. Keeps kicking. Amazing first game. I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to leave that giant like and of course subscribe to the channel for the most amazing kicking showdown live OU official TR content. Also, yeah, let's get the next game. Killing Moltres with high jump kick, man. I think this is the first time this has happened in Pokemon history. Yeah, we killed the Moltres with high jump kick. Okay, we got this joint, so... Oh, uh, okay, they have the mana fee, which is kind of annoying. Looking at leads, I think I have to lead up with my... Cobalion. Oh, wait, I have the Mammy. Yeah, we lead Mammy, we lead Mammy. We lead Mammy! We are Mammy fans. He leads up with the Digger, kind of annoying. This shit is annoying, mad, mad annoying. Not that I have a switch in, though. I mean, I can go for the Crash Flinch, but I want to keep this. This one is good. Hmm... Do I go to Rorizol? Rorizol is... Rorizol is good. It helped me check the mana fee. Rorizol is good. Uh, I'm just gonna crash here. Flinch would be really nice. Oh, perfect, perfect. He, he goes for the... He predicted my roaring... He's trying to predict my roaring moon. Yo, you must be crazy, man. You must be absolutely crazy. Predicting my roaring moon. He goes to B. Like, I'm fine with B. He shouldn't go for it, but I think he's just gonna get damage here, right? So I'm just gonna crash him, yeah. Oh, his transport, that is also fine, please land. Perfect, okay, we'll get one more. 
Yo, that man was fun. Oh my god, and we got a hit up on the glim as well. Meteor beam, perfect, perfect. He's <laughs> we'll get one more hit. <laughs> Yo, one more hit. We'll get one more. He goes to digger. Okay, let's get some shard chip and then we'll give the T spike back. Yeah, we'll give him the T spike back now. Yeah, you can have my, you can have my T spike. You can have all the spiker. You can have all the spiker. Now decide whom you want to get damage on. He goes to Zenta. I'm absolutely fine with this because I have, I have the sleeping giant, which is should, should come in on this, right? Go to sleeping giant here. He goes for the ID up. I'm gonna kiss in case he joined as road. Just gonna kiss here. He goes for the fire. He has stone edge. Okay, uh, stone edge with Zenta, kind of annoying. So he doesn't have road, which is good. Will ID up, I guess. Nice and get some hot pot chip as well. Oh, he's mirror up. Okay, it's mirror. He joined his mirror up. Okay. I mean, we still have a, we still have the Cobalion, so we should be. Oh boy, we're in trouble, I guess. And John keeps hitting all moves. So one thing I can do. Mm. Crown is gonna die, and then what do I, the hell do I do? My Zama is gonna live, but we can't kill him. Uh, okay. I can go to Roaring Moon and kind of uh, acro up. If I acro, I kind of win, right? Because I'm pretty sure I live the edge. Or I don't think Crown... <laughs> crown is not going to kill me. I have to trash my Crown. Uh... You live the edge, right? Because he wasn't doing much damage. I, I, I really trust my Roaring Moon here. I think we kind of live the edge. Oh, wait. Oh, this was a misplay because I can't kill him though. Oh, why did I go to this? I, I can't kill him. Oh man, I made a misplay because I oh I thought he was a neutral. And man, I was thinking he was a neutral and he was like just, you know, in his base form. Why did I go to Rowing Moon? Oh, that was a big, big misplay. Yeah, I, ah man, I made a big misplay. Huge misplay, mate. Man, yeah, I got kind of confused, you know. But we don't kill him, man. We do not kill him. Oh, okay. Psychic noises, 75. Hmm... 105, 110, focus blast is stronger. Okay, let's go for the focus miss. Barely, barely. Live. Oh man, we're in trouble. Yeah. I'm relying on my Roaring Moon, but I made a huge misplay. I mean, we live this hit, but I think you kill, right? Yeah, we live the body press. Thank the real lord. Okay, okay. I mean, yeah, gonna be tough. Made a huge misplay there. Goes to this. So he has T wave, right? So gonna be a bit annoying, but I can crunch. Man, why, why did I go to the. The defense drop is kinda nice though. Made a huge misplay, man. Yeah, made a damn misplay. Literally have to knock. Mm -hmm. Man, I made a ginormous, ginormous misplay. Yeah, big misplay made. Uh, mm, gonna DD up. Man, hmm, do we die to acro or like, hmm, man, I hope we kill him here and win the speed tie also. Okay, 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 Oof, man, I, I made a huge misplay with the Rolling Moon, I made a ginormous misplay, ginormous, ginormous misplay, man, but we should win here, I guess, yep, I should win here, I guess. Yeah, I, I thought, you know, I thought his Zama was at like regular form and he was at like plus one defense, not, I have totally forgot. Yeah, it was, yeah, I don't know what was going in my head, but yeah, Acro is like super duper stronger. 65, yeah, I'm just gonna Acro twice. Unless he freezes me here, 79. Okay, that's not gonna save him. <sighs> my god, my god, what a big misplay made and he was the only Stone Age fired Zama Zenta. Look at his joints ranking though, 1856, holy shit. Yeah, I mean, despite the misplay, we won. Yeah, we won. I mean, if you won their speed tie though. With the Rolling Moon would have been very scary, but you know, we take those. You next one. Also, you know, okay, okay, I forgot one thing. Even if you want the speed tie, he doesn't kill me, and the mana freeze, acid armor, sword power, uh, power minus call. Yeah, we would have won either way. Didn't matter at all. Yeah, we won either way. Yeah, the mana free wasn't ice beam, so we won either way. Yep. Uh, same, similar kind of matchup, so let's lead up with my Mammy. Mammy lead is so good, you know, in the current meta, Mammy lead is freaking good. Mammy lead is so freaking good. Oh, he leads up with this joint. I kind of want to get my rocks up, but the problem is like, uh, he's gonna, do I go to early Rolling Moon? 
Man, this thing should be banned. This thing is so freaking broken right now. We'll not even kill, you know. I kind of want to go for the rocks to chip the bee down. But like, if I get rid of this, my enamorous gets opened up a lot. As if I, 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 I mean, I'm no player either way. But this is good, man. I want to keep this. I want to keep this. I'm going to go to Rolling Moon. Because my ma'am is really good. Yeah, it's ma'am is really good, man. Trust me, it's good. I'm just going to acro here. Yeah, we'll just acro here. Oh, okay. He's going to go to B most likely and Moon Blast me. Yeah, he has to go to B and Moon Blast me. Man, Rolling Moon for Ogre Pawn. Not a trade which I want to take. Yeah, he's, he's going to go to B here. Yeah, I think I'll take the trade. Huh? Oh, he's slow B. Also, he goes for the stun score. Okay, fine. Gonna acro. Yeah, just kill me. You should... Bro! Okay, okay, okay. Not bad at all. I think this is a good... Because I have a Sinres, right? We have focus as Sinres. So, the webs are gonna go on his side. My focus as Mammy is gonna come in handy. So, I don't know what this play was though. Also, why is his B like not max speed? That is very, very surprising. Extremely surprising. Goes to Raging Nick. I'm still faster, I guess. No, we're not faster. But like, just gonna, I'm just gonna knock him. Okay, yeah, he made one more big misplay. Uh, the problem is I want to keep my Cinderace as Sash. It, it's going to come in handy, right? Because I don't want to, you know, just give him two months. If I go to Cinderace just to court change, we'll have to give him two months. I can court change on the bigger late, late game. So I think I always go to you. Yeah, we just take play here. Because we have the Sash. Yeah, we can court change on... If he goes to Tusk, I go to the Enamorous, right? And I just... ID up. Yeah, he goes to Tusk. He's going to be speed boosting most likely. Oh, these attack boosting. Very, very scary. He has to spin, right? Get my side chip, I guess. But I know she's going to spin. So, something I can do is I can go to my Sindres to give him the... Nah, that's that's a misplay. Enam should leave any. I go to Enam here. Because I go to Sindres on the bigger most likely. So, mm, just reading kiss here. I spin, it shouldn't do much. I think he's gonna save this, you know. Yeah, that did jack shit. We get rid of that. He goes to digger. Oh, he's balloon digger. Okay, fine. Mm. Kiss always. He's T wave. I think he's hex shit, right? Oh, mine. Hope power off. This is fine. Not the end of the world. We live that we get a huge chunk off. Sleeping giant is really good. There's so much damage. We're draining kiss. Let him hex me off. Go to my Cinderachi. Mm. Code change. You gotta be bullshitting me. Ah, we lost. Okay, we have a shot now. Because we'll get the Tachyon off. Yeah, we have the Tachyon one at the back, so... Yeah, we, he forgot we have the Tachyon, right? I just, I'm gonna high jump kick here in case he makes some Rolling Moon double. I'm gonna high jump kick. Yep, 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 yep. I told you, right? He's gonna make the double. We high jump kick here. He's gonna die if we hit this. We don't. Okay, high jump kick. Try to again. Please land for God's sake. You get one more chance. Yeah, he's gonna die. Yep. And I can just like fire ball now. Hmm. Yeah, we can just fire ball here. Yeah, my rolling moon is faster. I mean, my this is fine. still fine. We have the sash. I'm gonna suck it here. Get rid of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hundred percent win. Yeah, they, they, we can lose from here. We can lose from here. Yeah, I told you right. The, the way I played this end game. Yeah, genius, genius end game. I don't understand the Terra on the Digger though, because he knows I have the Iron Crown. Yeah, I don't understand the uh, Terra. Absolutely don't understand the Terra on the Digger, because if he was Ghost, he kind of walled my Iron Crown. He kind of walled my uh, my what is this called? My Zama as well. So I don't understand the Terra at all. But I guess you know, yeah, whatever is going in that head, who knows? But the Hajan Sindrath is really good. So yeah, we're at eighteen twenty nine with the, the Sleeping Giant is also really good. You know, it takes hits, it gets so much damage off. It got the Tusk, it got it got the Coding with force the chastisation. Also, focus as Indra is really good. I love it. Yeah, good next game. Some neatly neatly played games. Very neat games. Neat neat played games. Oh, two games doesn't count though. Twice doesn't count. We played him once. He's back for more. But this doesn't count. Only once. You get chance only once here. But it's okay. Now into the little boom right. I just crash here. Bring Marina. Still do a lot. Man, this is like goddamn cheating. Yeah, you can't, you can't play me twice, man. You can't play me twice. Uh, he was waiting to snipe my join, but like I have no, I have no switching versus Prima Arena. Oh, this is this works. Mammy, one more piece. 
so good man so good so good uh, he has to go to moltres now oh, is that moltres he's going to wish most likely right but we like, will will we'll kick 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 will kick kick will kick kick oh he turns perfect the grassy grassy seed is going to end so oh he's he might be fast 295 speed how much speed do we have 284 we are slower so we will i shot here Hmm. He can't glide though. He can't glide. Oh my God, Mammy again! Oh, oh, Mammy again wrecked his whole team. Again he got wrecked by Mammy. Again he got wrecked. Okay, I can just DD up with the Rolling Moon, right? Oh, my powder. Yeah. Do I DD up with the Rolling Moon? Wait, I'm kind of weak to the the raging neck though. This shit is in Kustab. I think this shit is in Kustab, so we have to be tad bit careful. Hmm. I'm gonna comment up with crown. Because that joint is in custom. We have to be very, very careful. Yep, before the raging neck in calm mind up here. Psychic noise. Decent, decent chunk. I still psychic noise actually. <laughs> you can clap me though, I don't mind. Yeah, I wanted to calm mind, but that's fine. Go to Cinderace. Sucker him now. I'm gonna sucker this sucker. Stupid play by me. That was that was not the play. But it's fine. We chipped it down, right? Hide a wall. Oh, he goes to Tusk. Perfect. He gets Nat chipped. Yeah, we go to the Sleeping Giant. <laughs> Tries to rush me. Just calm mind up here. We'll lift the hit from the raging neck, you know. Oh, he goes to Moltres. Oh, we just calm mind up again. That is fine, cause I'll get a lot back. I kind of want to work for him, you know. But like, do I need to ID? I'm gonna ID up just no. I calm mind always. I don't need to ID now. Cause if he, if whatever mon he goes to, we'll kill it, right? He goes for the rules. This is fine. I go for one more calm mind. I'm gonna ID up now. That's 14. Yeah, now the sleeping giant is set. We just kiss. Yeah, he's like fist up, so we'll get a decent chunk back. I don't need to ID up any anymore. So yeah. If he crits me, I'm gonna be so mad, you don't even imagine. I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna get one more for the raging neck. I don't need I'm not gonna tell us till he goes to I think he's custab, right? He has to be custab. You're custab. Let's see if he was hiding the custab though. Or oh, he was like some max speed. Like I have a lot of speed, no, I have zero speed, man. I have zero speed on this, but yeah, the sleeping giant has awakened. Uh, he goes to man, don't kid me, dude. Please don't kid me. Yeah, that does a chunk, but he can't paralyze me now. So yeah, we get rid of the raging neck, and that is full, full sleeping giant sweep. <laughs> the full giant sweep. The full giant sweep. <laughs> Yo, man, this team is just putting in that goop goop work. And let me tell you guys, this team is so fun to play. If you use this team, you're gonna be enjoying the meta. This team is like so fun to play. It has like so many win cons. Yeah, this team has been built with like so much thought, you know. Trust me, guys. Miami looks like a gimmicky Pokemon. It's an anti meta mon, but it's so good, you know. Miami is putting in that work. It is going to give you that start, which is going to be helping you every game. Let me explain you why. So, we have this like when it comes to leads. The. Wait, let me open a new. Let me open a new window. So, make it like OU. Leads. So if you see the leads in OU right now, so first is this piece of joint. There is this joint, there is like, there is this joint, there are some more leads as well. There is one more. Uh, people like to lead with this one a lot and there is like, mm, 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 yeah, there is this joint. All the leads, there is this joint. And is there any more lead? Mm. No, 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 no. I mean, Meow is also a lead, but like not so much. Yeah, there is one more. I saw that. Okay, the last lead. <coughs> so, these are the main six leads in OU right now. And now compare this with the Mamoswine matchup. Focus Sash, Adam, and Mamoswine matchup. Just compare. Let's start with this. So, the lead up with this joint. So, they can do two things versus Mamoswine, right? Either they can go for rocks or they can go for an attack. So, let's say that they go for an attack. So, you will leave any attack this shit goes for. And you have the Focus Sash, right? You will leave any attack. Then you go for the Earthquake. Not only do you get a T-Spike on your side, but you get this one in, uh, in, his, in his focus ash range or if it's like powered up, you kill it. 
and why i'm saying that getting the thief spike up on my side is an advantage because we have the cinderace so yeah that's why my cinderace is also focused sash so guaranteed we'll send the spike thief spike on their side and then also let's say that this gleam has a sash right you go for the earthquake they either go for rocks they go for thief spike and then you have eye shot priority to kill the gleam job done like it beats gleam and it also either if gleam decides not to attack then you get your sash intact also and if they decide to attack then there is no rocks on your side so it's a win win for you coming to be it's the same thing either they will go for waves or they will go for the damage but if they go for like transport or something on mammy you will get your sash intact provided you can you don't get fully paralyzed turn one you will go for the crash into i shot done yeah i also get your sash intact and if they go for the waves that's then like full that's the most advantageous for you because you go for the crash you bring this to his sash i shot kill it off and then you go to a sin race just send the waves back to them so it's a win win for you it beats both these leads now coming to pod lead most pod leads are like there will be t wave or wisp so if they can't they can't go for t wave the best thing can do is u turn off and if the u turn mammy has like base 130 attack you get up a very strong earthquake or an icicle crash off something is going to be just getting nabbed here and then if they decide to go for the wisp so the first thing is that they can miss if they miss you kill them with crash and if they hit also icicle crash does minimum burnt or from burnt mammo also it does 65% minimum So we'll get a huge, huge damage, and then if they follow it up with a hex, maybe won't die. You can decide to go for the rocks, or you can decide to trade with the pol. Also, plus if you will kill pol, and you will also get one more ice shard hit on the next one, or you can keep maybe the sack. So beat pol lead. Coming to dark cry, the same thing, right? Dark cry. The only thing it can do is like if it gets the dark pulse flinch turn one, then it it's gonna be bad for you. But still, if it gets the dark pulse flinch, you get a ice shard chip on the dark cry. You break the sash, or you get a some chip. And if in case dark cry goes for the focus blast, if they miss, they're done. If they hit also, you leave with focus sash. You earthquake, you eye shot, kill the dark cry. Dark cry is done. Coming to deoxy, deoxy is never gonna turn mammoth swine. They're gonna go for the hazards. You earthquake into eye shot, you kill the deoxy off. Then go to cinderace and bounce back the hazards. Now this this shit is a bit tricky. I mean, it's not getting used much nowadays, but this shit is kind of tricky because I don't know how much earthquake does. I guess we'll see the calc as well. Yeah. Let's see the calc as well. Yeah, we'll play more games by the way. Just explaining stuff. How many is good? So, I think minimum earthquake should do like sixty five. I guess it 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 can do more also. I think minimum it does like sixty five, right? Yep, it does sixty five damage. Wait, the adamant also, right? This ad this jolly. This is not our set. We use gator mammy. Sixty seven. Oh, you do a lot of damage. Yeah. So you won't kill this with like you won't kill the samurai with shard into earthquake combination. But then you can decide. You know, either to Yeah, get some damage and then keep Nami the sack. What did I kill more? Oh, I loaded the wrong team. You can decide, you know. You can just keep Nami the sack after getting the earthquake damage. And also, like if they get spike up on your side, you go to Cinderace and you just yeah just switch switch things up. Now this is a bad matchup for Hyper Offense because the Waker is gonna be the fastest one, right? And whenever it comes in, he's gonna get a kill because my water is just a non-existent kinda. So this is gonna be a tough tough matchup, very tough matchup. Let's do the Nami here. And this thing is also a big big problem though this thing is a big problem it has like a million attack and then it will get the bandit boost plus the the proto boost so yeah this thing is going to be a tough tough match this game is going to be a tough tough one very tough game but let's see what we can do this game is going to be a tough one i can assure you that Because his mons are all faster and hyper offense, you know, hyper offense versus weather teams that don't generally perform well. But we will have we have to use our sashes really well. Yeah, like my sim dress is damn good this game. And then when the waker comes in, yeah, literally got to sack something. Also, you know, there is a big disadvantage for us here. Because when the sun is up, my rolling moon won't be able to consume the booster, so its acros are gonna be hitting with like a lot less power. It leaves over this joint, so. Like, I mean, chipping this doesn't even help me. But like, I'll just—I uh, guess I'll get chip. Yeah, we'll get some chip here. Get some big demaglios. I wanted to keep the sash, but like, what can I even do? No play I have, right? Chip this joint down. Hmm. I can kind of go to you and calm mind up. You know, hmm. gonna be a good play. Just we'll hit the top. I'm gonna go to you. Calm mind up here. This, this shit is gonna be mad at me.
If anyone can win this game, that is my sleeping giant. But we need like plus six speed F and we need plus six defense. So yeah, you can tell how much. I thought it was eject pack or some shit, but follow it up with a focus blast. Hmm. If we can get the sun, I always sagging my right? Now I'm gonna focus blast. <coughs> Over it, Thor Cold. Crazy. He's mental. Yeah, we have to get rid of the sun, else my rolling moon isn't gonna get activated. correct yeah because he couldn't risk the heat and you know he's gonna go to the wing <clears throat> he has to go to wing he got some massive damage on top hole he goes to the venus or big problem but i have a sash tinder so we should be i'm gonna set him as here goes for the life of earth power i'm gonna go to my cinder spider ball here Yep, don't miss. Time that dear lord will leave that. You know who's looking good now? My Zamazenta is looking damn good now. It's looking damn damn good. Tuskati comes out, it's speed boosting, but like not the end of the world. We'll go for a pyro ball. He can spin. Uh, that's fine. <clears throat> a problem would be if his joint is. Uh, whatever. <coughs> I guess I calm mind up. Yeah, I'll, I'll calm mind up. Because the heat trend is a problem. He's on a balloon. He's gonna be doing a lot of damage. But I kiss first. Oh, the, he's gonna be doing a lot of damage. Oh, that did zero. Not bad. Can earth power now. Man, calm. He know. Uh, I had to earth power there. There's no other play there. There's no other play. There's no other play. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. This is perfect actually. This is absolutely perfect. Slitherwing cannot kill me unless this shit has wild charge. But then, I, you know, my only concern is if it's like Blim's Tusk. If it's like Kera Ghost Tusk, then we lose. So, that is my biggest concern. If it's like Blim's Tusk. Else, we should be alright, I guess. We have to go to Slither. Flare Blitz is not gonna kill me. My only concern if he's like wild charge. Blitz is not gonna unless he Terra fires here. Okay, okay, we'll get some damage. Don't know why I went for the U-turn though. Maybe trying to bear out my trestalization. But do I wanna take oh wait, I ID up always. I can I'll eat the over it up and yeah, that just seals the deal, right? This shit is doing a lot of damage though. Not gonna lie, this shit is doing a lot of damage. I mean I can I can ID up again, but is that the play though? Nah, I don't wanna get too low because I'm like super duper boosted. I'm 582 defense, so yeah. Goes to Tusk. I just like idea upon you as well. Yep, you got as much. That does jack shit. <clears throat> yeah, we just kiss here. Oh, we got a lot back. Right? Jover. Jover, Jover. Unless he crits me. Even if he crits me, also he's Terra Fairy, right? He can't be able to beat me. I'm not risking any crits or stuff. Yeah, <clears throat> the sleeping giant. <laughs> the sleeping giant did it again. Yo! The sleeping giant bit. <laughs> you know, see, I told you right, all these are medal players, all these are season champions, so yeah, we are beating them with like no effort. 18 turn game, one more joint smashed. Ah, just smashing every freaking one. Whoever is coming in the way, smash, 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 smash. All done. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, use this team. And this time I'm really encouraging you, use this team, you will enjoy, you will enjoy. This team is so good, you will enjoy playing the game. This team is so good. Did you see the replay? <clears throat> you will enjoy using this team, it's so freaking good. See, we are beating this, like all these top ladder joints with no effort. Absolute no effort. But yeah, don't just expect the team to just win on its own. You have to some standard plays like this game, like how I thought the whole process and I mapped everything out. I mean, we got lucky with the Magma Storm dodge, but you know what? It didn't matter at that point because the moment I got rid of the Waker and the Venusaur, he was going to lose to my Zamazen tired away. Also, his Tusk was not Terra Ghost, so he loses the 1v1 exchange. So yeah, he was done there. Okay, Let's close these tabs and we'll play the last game. Let's go. This team is performing legit so well, man. Yeah, you guys will enjoy. Use this team, okay. Go the last game. Mm hmm Yeah. I think the lead is gonna be the... He can't lead land because I have the Oblivious. Oh, perfect. 
Okay, I'll just crash here. Should be a free crash. Turn one theta. Okay, I see. Get the joints up. Did not expect the turn one theta, but we get the joints up to chip the the land D down and the other stuff. So he theta the sloping turn one. I have to remember this. So now, do we go to Rorizol and just throw some knocks? Because my yeah, Zama is looking so damn good. Yeah, we go to Rorizol. I'm just gonna DD up here. <clears throat> we'll DD up. We'll just smack that landy. I legit can Theta fly, you know? Nah. I don't wanna. I'm just gonna just knock the landy off. Because <clears throat> I have roost, you know? Turn this jack shit. He goes to Gambit. I'm gonna roost. Because <clears throat> we have the roost. I like the old Rolling Moon sprite. I don't like this sprite. It's sitting on the floor. It's it's a it, it's a moon, right? It should be top. It should be flying. Why is it sitting on the floor? <coughs> Legit, man. Game Freak really loves Salamence. They gave it so many. You know, they gave it a mega. They gave it a regular, powerful, super legendary, and they gave it now this. Post to Campbell, we just roost up here. That cut out does jack shit. I think is it Terra Blast or some stuff? Mm, I kind of want to keep you because you're good. It helps me chip the this shit down. Do we go to Zama, keep this and go to Zama? Or do we just knock, get some damage? Uh, <clears throat> go to Zama. Go for that. Uh, idea? Go to Land Rover. Mm, yeah, he can't. He, he, he won't helmet damage, right? Because, okay, you get the Land Rover. Oh, goes to Raging Neck this early. Yeah, we go for the press here. So much damage. He goes for the Drake, so we'll not die from the Thunderclap. <clears throat> get rid of this. I have a Sash Inrest to check the other joint. Yeah, just body press here. He dies. Perfect. And that is GG Destruction. Quick, quick game to end the life. I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing destruction. I'm legit telling you this team is like super duper good. You can use this to smash each and every one in the ladder. Just remember, you know, just have a small pad and on whom you want to send and whom you want to keep, whom you want to go for the end game. Because Mammy is gonna be your lead. Like 90% of the time, Mammy is gonna be your lead, so you don't have to think much. Just lead with Mammy. Get your hits off. Get I mean rocks is not that important because in this current meta, rocks don't give a damn. Rocks don't give a damn. Either it's gonna be a full boots team or it's gonna be like very weak to rocks, or it's gonna be like Stack versus stack. So rocks are not that good unless you're running stack yourself. Rocks are okay. I mean, not your priority, but if you can get rid of ones as fast as you can, you're gonna be winning the game. So yeah, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch all of you guys in the next video. Stay safe, take care, and peace, my dear friends.